Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. You know, I've been thinking lately with this whole fake news motif constantly being touted, you know, by President Donald Trump and others in, you know, mainstream and alternative media, uh, the fake news motif, let's not forget why it was created. It was created to combat alternative narratives, the alternative media. Okay, the, the fake news motif was built to fight us. So when we see... Uh, this whole Jesse Smollett thing, right? And we'll we'll, we'll touch on that uh, briefly. When we see this whole Jesse Smollett thing, you know, coming out, um, mainstream media jumped on it, and a, a, as soon as it, it, people caught wind of it, it was like this this racial thing, this homophobic thing. Everybody jumped on, you know, the bandwagon to um, demonize these supposed Trump supporters, right? These MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters. And, you know, the media was so fast to, to cover this and it covered, you know, all of the audience that this mainstream media covers. It's a vast audience. Um, but what they weren't quick to cover was when this story started to fall apart. Right. When the Chicago Police Department was doing their due diligence and then the alternative media in return started doing their due diligence and started straightening out some of the quirks. Right. Some of the inaccuracies in this narrative that was evolving and pointing the whole, just absolutely putting holes in Mr. Smollett's story, okay? And this absolute, this this narrative that evolved here, uh, as quick as the media was to jump on it, they weren't very quick to try and uh, report the shortcomings of what they reported initially, okay? So it was the alternative media that, in this instance, influenced the mainstream media to finally get out there and start putting out the facts, okay? And this is just one instance of a small win that... Uh, that goes to show what, you know, inoculating uh, people against these, this propaganda and against these initiatives and agenda, what it can do, you know. And that being said, uh, I want to express some concern out, out, you know, moving on away from that. And it, it'll, it'll come up again briefly, but I, I'm concerned about the precedent that's being set over this, you know, national emergency, right? We've already heard the whispers of national emergency declarations over health care and guns by the uh, or others of the ilk, you know, by the opposing side. And uh, there are those saying, well, if Dems are going to call for something in line of, you know, a gun grab, just say when right but aren't we playing into their hands you know wouldn't they like nothing more by they i mean you know the powers that shouldn't be the low people in high places wouldn't they like you know nothing more than to have the people fighting each other in a way that would require some level of government intervention you know what do you think the push for this civil war has been about there's this perfect storm brewing right the left versus right race against race the haves versus have nots escalating religious conflict the static gender versus the gender fluids and and that's just scratching the surface you know that's just surface level uh we're really talking about the divide and conquer and i think that's really what the whole jesse smollett uh narrative played right into this push for divide right um the debate around the wall is another one and we should be concerned over these unorthodox solutions becoming commonplace when when people become desensitized to something it has a higher chance of being normalized but besides these agent provocateurs and bad actors throwing fuel on the race war fire uh, politicians are doing what they do best and fanning the flames of the ever-burning political dumpster fire right because eventually things will come to a head uh, but I think this wall issue is multifaceted. I think something else may be going on with all the missile testing, false emergency alerts, the presidential alert, uh, covert m military drills, and the the speculation of some coming coup d'etat or martial law type scenario, right? I've, I've covered that. We could be seeing preparation of some sort, uh, some kind of continuity of government, something like Rex 84. I, I, hey, I think I have my... Uh, topic for the next video. But I, I think that's really what we're we're seeing here. And we've talked about some of these things with the coup d'etat and potential martial law type scenario. We've I've covered a video on that and I'll leave a link in the description as well as uh, one of those video cards at the end. But the covert military drills like the unconventional warfare exercise 16, Jade Helm 15, uh, if if the government's preparing for something, shouldn't the people be prepared for something? And I, I think with that, I'll leave it there. And I'm going to go ahead and 
and do a brief video on, on Rex 84, right? Readiness exercise uh, 84, which was a classified scenario. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into that. California Carter signing off. Yeah.